Why is it that people can't have a real talk about gentrification? Is there still room for growth and development in our communities, for our culture, for our diverse culture? Do we not want safer schools, better places to shop at? Is it really gentrification? Shouldn't it be called niceification? Brooklyn is block parties, neighbors that have been around 30, 40 years. My Brooklyn is dead. Where are the people going that lived here? Was it better when the neighbor was full of drug dealers and gang members and lowlifes? I might gentrify it too. What is Brooklyn going to look like 10 years, 20 years from now? I think about these questions a lot, and you probably do too, if you live in an area like Brooklyn that's undergoing major change. Maybe you want to be part of an intelligent, informed discussion about the issues. Well, we've got a way for you to do just that. It's by getting involved in our documentary film, My Brooklyn. Are you having the time of your life? Because this is the best time in a generation to build, to plan. I'm a planner, and for a planner, this is heaven. We have a mayor who really cares about planning and design. The Bloomberg administration yeah. have done every possible thing to help a developer make a buck in New York City. If you don't like uh, wealthy people or successful profit-making businesses, you're not gonna have a city. I've lived in Brooklyn for 23 years, and it's an area I have a lot of love for. I moved to Park Slope in 1988 because I wanted to live in an engaged, activist, diverse community. And that's what Park Slope was at that time. Over the past two decades, I've seen Brooklyn change a lot. And I've wondered if there's something that I could do to help preserve the diversity and the local mom and pop stores and the neighborhood character that make Brooklyn such a great place to live. Much of the film My Brooklyn centers on a rezoning that the city did in 2004 in downtown Brooklyn that created a lot of high-rise luxury condominiums and displaced a really strong African-American community of residents and shoppers. We were here when nobody wanted to be here. I spent 20 years to build up this business and now I have to move. Then I might lose all the customers. The process of gentrification in New York is not about people moving into a neighborhood and other people moving out of a neighborhood. The process of gentrification is about corporations. So at the same time that all this money started moving into real estate, you also saw political pressure to change land use. What was here were five rent-stabilized properties. And what happened was demolition and no requirement to replace those 48 units of rent-stabilized housing and the creation of luxury housing. You can't stop change. That's something we know we can't stop. But taking my tax dollars and giving them somebody to build to put me out where I live at, it's not right. My Brooklyn will give people tools for understanding the roots of the crisis we're in right now and a strategy for restoring democracy to a broken planning process. Through our Kickstarter campaign, we're trying to raise $20,000. We're going to use this money to finish the film within a couple of months by hiring an editor so we can get it out there and it can really contribute to the conversation that needs to be happening now. Thanks for your help. Every little bit helps. My Brooklyn is vibrant. Very kid friendly. Great music and film. My Brooklyn is diverse. Very old fashioned, very old school. Growth and artistry. It's a beautiful connection of small neighborhoods. It's gay, it's straight, it's affordable. My Brooklyn is fresh, dope, and full of Love. Brooklyn! <laughs>